Hey there, YouTube. This is Vargas XX78 uh, with another Tales from Vargas Vault. Uh, today, I decided that I was gonna I was gonna bag and tape all my comic books and try to put them in their appropriate boxes. I have a whole bunch of these comic book boxes. And as I was doing that, um, I remember that I had did not complete my Superman collection series. I got as far as box two. So, um, I'm, I'm recording this in the living room because the comic book room is, is a mess. I, I'm still going through everything. But, uh, while it's still sunny outside, I decided to uh, continue this series. Again, because I have access to the comic book boxes, so it's a lot easier to just uh, do the video and put it back into their place. But also because uh, this year marks Superman's 75th anniversary. So, I think it's appropriate and nice to share uh, my comic book collection... Uh, my Superman comic book collection with you guys, and continue this uh, this series. Um, I'm really quite proud of my Superman collection. Uh, I, I, he, in these boxes, I have Superman, Adventures of Superman, and Action Comics. I have a full run of Adventures of Superman, uh, from the John Byrne reboot uh, to current. I'm missing one Superman book, and uh, I'm missing a couple of Action Comics. So I'm really quite proud of the the collection. But like I said, I wanted to continue this video series and uh, share with everyone my uh, Superman collection. So first off, uh, I really have them really stacked in there. Um, this is Adventures of Superman issue 533. Uh, Superman is teaming up with Impulse. And we have Superman 111. And we have Adventures of Superman 534. Superman 112. I like this because it's reminiscent to the cover where uh, Superman and Lewis Lane are talking about their relationship and what it means to each other. And this in this issue, uh, they break up. So I, I like that they, uh, you know, pay a little tribute here to the original cover. And, uh, because th this is when Superman and Lewis Lane were going through some, uh, marital problems, and they, I, they decided to break up. And we have, um, Adventures of Superman 535, uh, which has Superman dealing with the breakup with Lewis Lane, uh, the Alpha Centurion, and Lex Luthor, um, hooking up with the Contessa. And this is Superman 113, 113, and, uh, yeah, this is when Jurgens was just writing and, uh, uh friends between the artwork. I, I like, uh, Dan Jurgens' run on Superman. This is Adventures of Superman 536. Uh, Superman 114. Uh, if I remember correctly, this was a storyline where a uh, Brainiac uh, swiped uh, his mind with Superman. It, very remin reminiscent of what Dr. Octopus did to Peter Parker. Uh, Brainiac put uh, his mind into Superman's body. And then he put Superman's mind into a little kid's body. And he put the little kid in Brainiac's body. So, yeah, not that the whole... Uh, turns out that whole Doc Ock thing wasn't that original. Uh, and this is Superman 537, uh, where he's dealing with the Cadmus clones. Or the, uh, yeah, the Cadmus clones. Uh, Superman 115, uh, Lewis Lane leaves Metropolis to try to find herself, leaving Superman all, all angry and bitter. And we have, uh, Super Adventures of Superman 538. Uh, where this character uh, has a crush on Superman, and she decides that she's good. She's the only one worthy enough to be uh, his mate. Then we have Superman 116, uh, featuring the bottled city of Kandor. Uh, this is uh, referred to as a key issue in the Superman collection because this is an event that sparked his uh, big change that I'm going to showcase here. But it's also the return of the city of Kandor. Which has gone through a lot of interpretations in the Superman books. Uh, Adventure Superman 539. 
uh, <clears throat> Superman 117. And this is another key factor that uh, involved something big happening to Superman. Um, which, again, I'll, I'll talk about when I get to that. Then this is uh, Adventures of Superman 540. Introducing Pharaoh. Uh, Superman 118. Where Lois Lane is still on, on her quest to find herself and try to figure out what to do with Superman. And she returns. And uh, after a whole bunch of years, Superman and Lois Lane tie the knot in Superman The Wedding Album. Uh, this the uh, in final in final night, uh, Superman lost his powers because a Sun Eater uh, ate the suns, and Superman's powers is based entirely on the sun. So he lost his powers, and uh, Lewis Lane came back, decided that he loved Superman, and uh, married him. So this is the issue where the big wedding happens. Uh, there's actually two issues of this. Uh, this one. And uh, a regular cover, but I picked up this one because I, I, I like the white with the uh, Superman symbol there. And we have uh, Adventure of Superman 541. Uh, Superman and Lewis Lane are in their honeymoon in Hawaii where they meet up with Superboy. And um, uh, the power struggle uh, happens where Superman realizes that he can't leave the world without Superman. So he decides that he has to charge up somehow. He has to get his powers back. And in Superman 119, he teams up with the Legion of Superheroes. Then uh, in Adventures 542, uh, he goes to Cadmus. Superman 120. I forget what happens here. But that's still a pretty cool Superman cover. Uh, Adventures of Superman of 543. The Superman Revenge Squad. Uh, Superman 121. Superman 544. Superman 122, Adventures of Superman uh, 545, and this is what I was talking about. Uh, the writers mentioned that um, when Superman got transported to uh, Bottle City of Kandor, that altered him somehow, and then when he lost his powers, and uh, he was trying all these different methods to try to get them back. That affected his Kryptonian DNA because when he didn't have his powers, he was human. And uh, between Kandor and everything that he tried, that altered him somehow. And this is the start of the electric Superman, uh, where Superman became uh, a being of pure energy. And, uh, and he could revert back to Clark Kent, but Clark Kent was powerless. He was completely human. And uh, this was an interesting change for Superman. Uh, they're, they're always, they were always trying to do new things with the character. Uh, this is where he actually turned into the energy being in Superman 123. Uh, this was a cool cover. This one glows in the dark. Uh, but yeah, this, 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 a lot of people I remember were really upset about what they were doing with Superman. Because after you kill Superman, what else can you do with him? So uh, turning him into an electric being was interesting. I thought this was uh, an interesting experiment. And in Adventure of Superman 546, he's dealing with an updated Metallo. Superman 124 introduced um, uh, the, the, an escapee from Kandor uh, that found Superman's costume and he dressed up as him. He wasn't really a bad guy, but at first he was considered a monster because uh, he didn't speak English. And no one understood what he was saying or what he was doing, so he was always chased around. But this is a nice, uh, a nice tribute to uh, the first Action Comics issue. And then uh, Adventure Superman 547 has him returning to Kandor with the uh, revitalized Atom. And uh, Adventures of Superman, uh, Superman in Action Comics, I'm sorry, 734 uh, has um, some more 
the Electric Superman action. And then uh, in Superman 125, uh, there's Superman and the Atom is still are still in Candor, and uh, Scorn, I think his name was, is is you know the new hero of Metropolis. And then uh, Adventures 548 has Electric Superman uh, facing off against Lex Luthor uh, with the Phantom Stranger there. Then uh, Superman 126 has Superman going after the uh, Kryptonite ring that Batman has and he realizes the Kryptonite doesn't even face him anymore because he's just pure energy. Uh, Adventures of Superman uh, issue 549 Superman 127 Double Sized Adventures of Superman issue 550 And we have Superman 128 which features the return of the cyborg Superman uh, a recurrent villain that uh, cross paths with Superman and Green Lantern uh, one of the best creations of the death of Superman, I think, was the Cyborg Superman and Doomsday. And, of course, Superboy. Um, but, yeah, he's been butter bu bugging Superman for a long time. And this is Adventures of Superman 551. Uh, this was during the Genesis crossover. But, um, yeah. And Superman 129... Superman 550, Adventures of Superman 552, where the Parasite tries to uh, absorb Superman's energy, but uh, Superman discovers that he can do the reverse. He can absorb uh, the Parasite's energy. So, yeah, that was that was interesting. And DC did this thing where they would showcase their characters' uh, faces on the cover. This is Superman um, 130. So they had Electric Superman there, and in Adventures of Superman uh, 553, they had Scorn. I think his name was Scorn. And we have uh, Superman 131 with uh, the wedding of uh, Lex Luthor and the Contessa. Adventures of Superman uh, 554. And then they went really weird. Um, this is a one-shot called Superman Red, Superman Blue in 3D. Uh, it came with some of those uh, blue and red 3D glasses. And what they did is that the cyborg Superman uh, developed a way to try to destroy Superman, where he would uh, split his energy. But by doing so, what he did is that he created two energy Supermans. A blue one that uh, was unemotional, he didn't feel anything, and a red one which was uh, violent and brash and so on. So... For a while, you had two electric Supermans uh, running around. Uh, so yeah, that that was really weird. Uh, this is uh, Superman 132 again with the whole uh, Superman Red, Superman Blue thing going on. And the Adventures of Superman 555 has both of the Superman uh, fighting against each other. And Superman 123 uh, splits uh, the guys, uh, and they have their own adventure. And Adventures of Superman uh, 556 has the same thing. As each one, each one of the Superman uh, dealing with a catastrophe. Then in Superman 134, they had the Millennium, Millennium Giants crossover. They crossed over with Aquaman and so on, where these uh, giants were there to destroy the Earth, and Superman and uh, the Justice League and Aquaman had to stop them. This is Adventures of Superman 557. And then in Superman 135, the whole hit thing concludes with uh, both Supermen uh, sacrificing themselves to save the Earth and stop the Millennium Giants. So, it seems like Superman uh, died, uh, but... That was just a segue to bring back Superman in uh, the Superman Forever one-shot. Beautiful cover by Alex Ross. There's actually a, a variant, a much better variant of this, that has a lenticular cover. 
where you could uh, see Superman, uh, he's Clark Kent, and then you would do this, and he would be uh, Superman, and, and it would end with this. I could not get that one, uh, and I've been looking for it, but I, I haven't been able to find it. Of course, if I find it, I'm going to pick it up, because that lenticular cover looks really awesome. But uh, I'm still happy with this Alex Ross cover, and that's, this has Superman um, brought back to his non-electric um, power set. But it ends splitting off Superman to um, different alternate versions of himself in the all the Superman books. Uh, in Adventures of Superman 558, if I remember, I don't remember this very well, but I think in uh, Adventures of Superman, uh, he's like, um, he's in the Golden Age. And then in Superman, no, uh, Action Comics is the Golden Age, uh, which I need to track down. Adventures of Superman is the Silver Age. And in Superman, it's the future. It's a future super Superman. So in 136, we have Superman of 20, uh, 2999. Again, another homage to um, uh, Action Comics 1. And we have Adventure of, Su of Superman 559 um, in the Silver Age. Superman 137, again, in the future. Uh, this is a tribute to an old uh, Justice League issue. And Adventures of Superman 560. And in Superman 138, it's revealed that uh, all the different versions of Superman were caused by uh, uh, Dominus, who's this uh, evil being that could control reality or wanted to become the master of reality. So Superman had to stop him. Uh, that guy would, would come back later and haunt Superman in, in another thing, uh, which I'll get to. This is Superman 561, still fighting off Dominus. And Superman 138, concluding the fight with uh, the Dominus guy. Then we have another one-shot uh, with uh, Superman Save the Planet where the uh, Daily Planet was in danger of closing down, and it actually does close down. Uh, so that, that was a big change for Superman. Adventures of Superman 562 has uh, the dismantling of the Daily Planet. If I remember correctly, I think Lex Luthor uh, bought the planet and uh, shut it down. Then uh, they had this is another crossover that DC had called DC 1 million, and... Um, I put this here because it follows the monthly cycle, because this is technically issue 1 million of Superman. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to put this at the end of the collection. Because I don't think I'll, especially with now with the reboot, that there's no way that DC is going to reach the 1 million issue. So I put this uh, in the order of the month, and this is Adventures of Superman 1 million. Uh, I want to track down Action 1 million. Then we have Superman uh, 140. Uh, re another return to Kandor. And they they ha they help Scorn get back to uh, to Kandor, and but it turns out the cyborg Superman's also there in Adventures of Superman five sixty three. Like I said, the cyborg Superman's been uh, a huge thorn in Superman's sides, and even Green Lanterns. And we have uh, Superman one forty one that introduced an outburst character. It really didn't do that much. Then we have Superman 564, and uh, by now Superman's having these apocalyptic visions of bad things that are going to happen, and they uh, turn out happening. So, um, Superman 142 uh, has Superman deciding that he has to protect the world. He has to do everything in his power to stop uh, bad things from happening. So, uh, he becomes this... Um, ruler of the earth he releases an army of superman robots uh the story continues in uh adventures of superman 565 where the justice league is worried about what superman is attempting to do and and uh he follows through with that with superman uh 143 where he creates an army of superman robots to basically police the world um you know, he, he he sets himself up as the uh, the supreme police guard of the world, and now a lot of people are happy with that. Uh, Adventures of Superman 566 has the whole uh, special crime units after Superman, uh, and Superman 144. Uh, the government doesn't like what Superman's doing, and they destroy the Fortress of Solitude. 
and uh, Superman uh, 567, uh, a rogue robot uh, kidnaps Lewis Lane while Superman's suffering. And uh, another one-shot, Superman King of the World, uh, where Superman is uh, King of the World, his army is, of robots is doing everything, and it turns out that he was being manipulated by Terminus. Uh, Terminus was the guy that was giving him uh, the visions and then making things happen, so to basically mess with Superman. So Superman reveals to the world that it was Terminus, not him, that was doing everything. Uh, but people don't still don't trust Superman because, you know, he pretty much took over the world. Superman 145 has an angry person uh, upset with Superman. I like this cover. This was a really cool cover. Then we have Adventures of Superman 568. And we have Superman 146. I think this feature is a toy man. Um, Adventures of Superman 569. Then they, they did this other crossover with Superman where, uh, in the Superman books, where this guy captured Superman and he was uh, seeing what his life would have been like if he landed in other planets instead of Earth. In Superman 147, uh, he lands in Oa, so he becomes a Green Lantern. In Adventures of Superman 570, he uh, lands on Ran and becomes the champion there. In Action Comics 557, he lands in Tanagar, so he becomes uh, a Hawk police guard. Then uh, Superman 148, I don't remember what happens here. Uh, Adventures 571 has uh, the Atomic Skull. Then uh, Superman 149 has uh, another. I, I really like when they do this. They they tribute their own comics, but this is a, uh, a strange visitor that had showed electric power similar to Superman. So Superman gave her his containment suit, and then uh, that continues in Adventures 572. Um, yeah, I think this happens here. Uh, it turns out that the strange visitor is Kismet, who was a, a cosmic guardian. Uh, but she had the, this whole thing with, uh, with Dominus, and, uh, he wanted to kill her to absorb her powers and so on. So they, they, before they stopped her, uh, Dominus, um, the energy of Kismet got transferred to this, uh, this girl, and that's why she became a strange visitor. And uh, she would play a, a big part in another crossover that I'm going to talk about when I get to it. Uh, this is Superman 150 uh, with a uh, chrome cover there. Uh, this one has Superman fighting against an updated version of Brainiac. Um, Brainiac lost his or uh, the Milton Fiennes body in Superman Doomsday, uh, Superman the Doomsday Wars. And Super, uh, Brainiac upgraded himself, uh, which is what happens on this book. And we have uh, Superman 151, which um, basically was a fresh start for the Superman books, Adventures 573. He would retell his or origins and introduce some uh, new baddies, Action 760. And then uh, the Superman books wouldn't cross over anymore. They would, e each book would have its own uh, series and storyline. This is Superman 152. Which has Mongol there on the cover. Uh, Superman 574 with uh, Obsession claiming to be the wife of Superman because Superman had forgotten once to take off his ring, so everyone speculated that he was married, and she was saying that she was the uh, the wife of Superman. And we have uh, Superman 153, which introduced um, Imperiex, uh, which is a baddie that. Uh, it, um, I always compared him to a Galactus type baddie. Uh, he would come in and, and conquer uh, and so on. So they introduced that guy here and he was uh, going to be a, play a big part in um, another crossover that I'm going to talk about when I get to it. Uh, Adventure of Superman 575. Someone plots to kill Lex Luthor. Then this is another big thing that uh, DC did in the Superman books when they reached 2000, the year 2000. This is called Superman Y2K, uh, Brainiac 13, uh, that came from the future, uh, came ba traveled back in time to conquer Earth 
um, because the Superman of the future always stopped him. So he decided to go back in time to a time where Superman wasn't as powerful and conquered the Earth there. And uh, continues in Superman 154. Superman 576. Action Comics of 573, which is the conclusion. Uh, Lex Luthor, uh, by this time Lex Luthor had a daughter with the Contessa and uh, Lena Luthor. So uh, a lot of people didn't like that because it showed Lex Luthor in a, you know, being a weakling. But um, and by the end of this issue, uh, Lex Luthor saves Brainiac 13 and gives Lena Luthor to him in exchange for Lex Luthor having control over the uh, Brainiac 13 virus that upgraded Metropolis. So he would have exclusive knowledge and use of that. And uh, they got rid of Lena Luthor. And uh, they upgraded Metropolis into this uh, true city of the future. And uh, we have uh, Superman 155. This is an issue I've been... Sorry about that. Uh, this is an issue I've been trying to track down for a long, long time. Uh, because this is... Uh, Superboy was feeling left out, so he, he's kind of figuring out that Clark Kent is Superman, but he doesn't want to come out and say it. So Superman takes him, takes him under his wing. It's a very good issue. This is uh, Jeff Loeb written. Jeff Loeb was writing Superman by this time, with artwork by Ed McGinnis. And this was a really cool run of Superman. I really like this. And uh, this one issue I, I was missing, it's still not taped. Uh, again, I'm still going through that. But uh, yeah, that run was really cool. And Adventures of Superman 577. Uh, Superman 156 against the Parasite, uh, who turns out uh, replaced Lewis Lane because Superman and, and Lewis Lane were going through some issues. And it turns out that the Parasite got this shape shifting ability. So he absorbed Lewis Lane's memories because he was trying to uh, destroy Lex Luthor and uh, Superman at the same time. So it, it was really weird if you think about it. That, of course, the Parasite hated Superman, so he never really got close to him. But because the, the Parasite kisses Lex Luthor, so that uh, that was pretty messed up. Uh, Superman 579 has Superman against Lewis Lane, but it's because it's the Parasite. Uh, Superman 157, same thing. Again, it was the Parasite. Uh, Superman 579 has the Prankster. Uh, Superman figures out what happened to Lewis Lane, so he's looking for her. And then in Superman 158, uh, Superman's poisoned by kryptonite, uh, which happened by uh, a kiss that the uh, La Encantadora gave him in Action Comics 760. So he's dying, he's being uh, poisoned by kryptonite. So uh, the Superman family, uh, Steel, the Eradicator, Supergirl, and Superboy, uh, travel. they get themselves uh, miniaturized by the Atom, and they travel into Superman's body. And uh, try to st stop the kryptonite poisoning. So this is Adventures uh, 580. And uh, Action 767 has the conclusion of that. Someone hires Deathstroke to uh, kill off Superman while he's weak. And they also find Lewis Lane and so on. Uh, this is Superman 159. Where Superman and Green Lantern discover that uh, Pluto is missing. Uh, the planet Pluto, so they go to investigate it, and they encounter Maxima and um, Massacre. So uh, uh, it turns out that Imperiax is conquering and destroying uh, planets, and they they ups they uh, took Pluto because they needed it for their plan. So yeah, and that was a big setup to uh, another crossover. I'm still going to talk about uh, issue 581 of Adventures of Superman. And this is a really good crossover. This is uh, Superman 160 uh, featuring uh, called Superman Arkham. Superman wakes up in in an in, in Arkham Asylum and he's wearing this black costume. And uh, he's a villain and he doesn't have his full powers. And uh, the hero of Earth is Bizarro who talks him backwards. And Superman's trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, continues in Superman 582. Again, uh, he's trying to find uh, his Superman... Uh, pals and they're they're all in uh, really messed up versions of the, of themselves and they're being hunted down by uh, this is Superman uh, Action Comics I'm sorry 769 where he encounters Superboy and uh, there's Ignition 
And it turns out that the reason why this world is so messed up is because the Joker, uh, Mr. Mixelplick wanted to, uh, you know, keep torturing Superman. But he was running out of ideas, so he visits the Joker. Somehow the Joker makes Mr. Mixelplick reveal his true name. Which gives the Joker all of the power that Mr. Mixelplick has. So he reshaped the universe in, in whatever way he liked. The Joker has uh, cosmic powers and he can do whatever that he wants. And in his reality, he kills the Batman and brings him back to life just to kill him again. Great, great, great uh, crossover. This this series was so cool. And Superman figures that out and he has to stop a uh, nigh omnipotent Joker. Uh, Superman 161 continues the storyline. Great, great crossover. Uh, Adventures of Superman 583. And the conclusion in Action Comics 770. Um, Kano is uh, the artist for this, and he's now working on Swamp Thing. So if you like his artwork, he's doing really good on Swamp Thing. So you might want to check out that. So great crossover, that Emperor Joker thing. So cool. Then we have Superman 162, and by this time Lex Luthor was running for president. And I didn't think he was going to... They were going to make Lex Luthor president, but he has a fight here with Aquaman... Then Adventures 584 has the return of, of Lord Satanus. Then uh, Superman 163 has Aquaman uh, destroying Metropolis. And Lex Luthor uh, stops him uh, by using political ways. Uh, Adventures of Superman 585 uh, continues the Lord Satanus thing. Uh, Adventures of, of Superman 586 has Lex Luthor running for president. Superman 164 has the election, and in Superman Lex 2000, Lex Luthor becomes the President of the United States. I remember a lot of people were talking about this issue, um, because we, since he had access to the Brainiac 13 technology, he, he made a lot of things, and then he was the one responsible for rebuilding Metropolis, so a lot of people thought that they could trust Lex Luthor. And uh, he became the president of the United States. I thought that was so insane. Um, S Superman 165 is a, a little Christmas issue. Adventures of Superman 587 uh, continues the Lord Satanus uh, thing that was going on. Superman 166 has uh, another change in the uh, Krypton origin story. So uh, Superman finds out that what he knew about Krypton, they basically deleted uh, what John Byrne did and kind of infused some more um, Golden Age and Silver Age elements. This one has a really cool chromium cover. Uh, and Superman 588 has the uh, continued uh, venture with Lord Satanus. Uh, actually, the conclusion. Uh, conclusion happens there. And then we have uh, Superman 167 that uh, turns into a crossover where Superman and Lewis Lane try to figure out what's the deal with Krypton, so they travel to Krypton, but they realize it's not, it's a different kind of Krypton, which continues in Adventure Superman 589, concludes in Action Comics 776. And we have uh, Superman 168, uh, Superman wants to get, uh, I'm sorry, Batman wants to get back the kryptonite ring that Lex Luthor stole, and uh, he teams up with Lewis Lane to try to get it. That, that was a fun issue. Uh, Adventures of Superman 590. Uh, Superman 169. This is a, a crossover where this alien race tries to invade Earth. Uh, Adventures of Superman 591. And we, and we have last bit of, bit of stretch of comics. Uh, 170. During the whole uh, Return to Krypton thing... Uh, Crypto, the Kryptonian dog, uh, went through the portal, and uh, now there's this super-powered dog uh, running around. Uh, I thought it was cool that they brought back Crypto, uh, and this issue showcases him. Then we have uh, 592 of Adventures of Superman. And then this is the crossover I was talking about. Uh, Imperiax ma makes his run against Earth. He wants to conquer Earth and the what's rest of the galaxy. So, uh, Lex Luthor makes a deal with, um, I think it was uh, uh, Brainiac, Darkseid, and Maxima and her, her army 
it's basically a big one big giant fight uh, and the crossover is called Our Worlds at War and they had Earth um, Apocalypse and uh, War World or Imperiax I don't remember War World gets involved when Brainiac comes into the fold so uh, this was a big 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 crossover thing uh, Adventures of uh, this is Superman 171 Adventures of Superman 593 and you have uh, Man of Steel 115 and uh, Our Worlds at War, Secret Files and Origins, uh, Action Comics 780, this is the, uh, well, I wouldn't say Russian, but uh, this was a um, Superman lookalike that uh, called himself General Sod, and he was actually powered by red uh, sun energy as opposed to Superman's yellow. So he had, seemed to have all of the Superman's powers, and I think he did plastic surgery on himself to look like Superman because he played a, a role at, later on in the Superman books. So it ha it ha it, he had uh, he was doing experiments on Bizarro, uh, who got uh, he had ignition under his thumb. Mixoplex saved some of the uh, people in, in uh, the reign of Emperor Joker. He uh, brought into the main universe ignition, Scorch, and Bizarro for some reason. And uh, Ignition was working by, with General Saad. Then uh, Superman 172 has a first attack. And uh, Imperiax destroys uh, a city in, in the U.S. Then we have Superman 594. Which has Superman teaming up with Doomsday. Uh, they are able to brainwash and control Doomsday momentarily. And Imperiax blows Doomsday away and only leaves like his, his skeleton. Uh, which... Later on, would power him up even more. Uh, Action Comics 781. And then the conclusion in Superman 173, where a uh, strange visitor sacrifices herself uh, to stop, um, to try to help out with, with Imperiax. And Superman dives into the sun and gets supercharged. And uh, he gets rid of Brainiac 13, who uh, came back, and uh, Imperiax. He takes them back to the beginning of time reigniting the Big Bang and basically killing them but doing some really really weird changes to the universe which would be showcased later on so yeah that that that, that one was a, also a really cool crossover uh, the our worlds at war but yeah uh, this was box three of the main Superman collection uh, I'm gonna get box four ready and share that with you guys but until then thank you so much for watching this half hour long video uh, Tell me what you think. Um, I know Superman has some issues with some people. They they like sometimes Superman. A lot of people like Superman, but other times uh, people think that su the Superman character himself is kind of boring or not well written. I like what they've done throughout the years. I've I've stuck with Superman through the electric phase and through his death and everything. But uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment um, or maybe a Superman book I might not have read or don't own that I, I would enjoy. But till I see you all again, uh, stay tuned for the next part of the Superman Collection series. And until then, this is Vargas XX78, signing off.